love to see a black queen win, you know? Uh, um, okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. <laughs> um, oh my god, ring, no, no. Hello everyone. <laughs> Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking to watch this video. Today, as you can see, we have a change in location. We are in my bathroom, Vogue style, Vogue inspired. Um, today I'm demoing the new uh, hydrating foundation from Fenty Beauty, along with their new brow product, um, the Brow Wiz, I think it's called. And yeah, I'm gonna demo it for you guys and I'm gonna do a full face of Fenty uh, products. And yeah, come along with me. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. I'm gonna start off with my brows. So, I got the color, so this is what it looks like. I got the color black brown, because I really like my eyebrows pretty dark. Uh, even though I have blonde hair, but yeah, I, know, I, don't, I like it to stand out. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And this is the product, it's pretty, it's pretty thin if you ask me. But we'll see how it applies. And what I really, 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 really am interested to see how it works is this new, like, brush they have. It's pretty innovative if you ask me. Like, because, yeah, no other, no other brand has a brush like that. They all have the normal, like, spoolie looking brush. So, yeah, let's get into it. I think I'm pretty happy with that shape. Um, what I can say is I love this brush. I do, I love this brush and I love the color I chose. Um, but it is a very like true to Fenty, it's very like natural, uh, pretty much just like using like little feather strokes uh, will like get you the shape or the fitting that you want. But yeah, I really like it, what do you guys think? And I'm like super satisfied with the color as well. Um, but I will say one thing, one bit of like um, constructive criticism. I think this is too thin. This is, wait, hold on. This is way too thin. Like, look at that. So it's like, it'll like easily break. And you don't want like your product easily breaking off after you've just spent 30, 30 how much was this? $32 and it's just breaking off every time you use it. So I will say maybe make it, I don't know. I don't know, do something about it. I just don't know what. Like a little bit thicker. Yeah, anyway, but that's just my my opinion. Next, I'm just gonna clean up the brow, the underneath of the brow with my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 390. And now this is a brightening concealer, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyebrows to just clean that up a little bit. I'm just gonna use this a little brush. Yeah, I'm just gonna like blend that out onto my eyelid as well for any like eyeshadow to act like as an eyeshadow base to make the color of your eyeshadow pop a little bit more. I'm just gonna put like the lift over and just drag it onto my eyelid. And yeah, I'm just gonna do that. And yeah, you'll see it'll make a difference in like how your eyeshadow looks. I'm just gonna grab a sponge and just quickly blend that in. Anyway, yeah, so. I decided to do this little demo for you guys because if you know me, you know I love Fenty products. Literally my whole makeup routine consists of, I'm gonna say about 70% of Fenty Beauty products. Like I love them. I'm waiting for them to come up with a skincare routine. Uh, so yeah, and I'll be the first one on it. Um, <laughs> next up I'm gonna go with the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation, the star of the video. Um, but yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. I've used their matte foundation and I thought that was a winner um, as well. I have oily skin, so I was kind of on the fence about using a hydrating foundation because I'm trying to get oily throughout the day. I am the sebum queen, so it oozes out of my pores. So just hope this works for me. I grabbed the color three, I don't know if you can see that. No, oh, it's 430, the color 430. And uh, it's a warm golden and yeah warm golden undertones and yeah I thought it was like the perfect match for me um, so hopefully I was right um, yeah let's get into it 
Don't you just love the bottle? Before I get into that, don't you just love the bottle? I know a lot of people were just saying how they wish they didn't change their, uh, the original packaging, but I think it's cool. It has like a BB cream type of feel to it. So yeah, let's see how it, it applies on. I already prepped my skin for foundation, so yeah, I'm just gonna get into it. Skip. Should probably like <laughs> mix that up a bit. So this is a medium to long wear. Okay, it would help if some product actually came out. A medium to uh, full coverage foundation. So if you like a bit of coverage, you can always build it up. Well, it's supposedly buildable. So yeah, if you like a bit of coverage, then it should be no problem building it up. But we'll see how it builds up. I'm just gonna. So the original matte foundation. Um, oxidized so it dried down a darker color and like from the reviews I've seen from this foundation it apparently doesn't do that this will see so I have a feeling like this would be really good as like a you know a holiday foundation you know when you want to go for like that natural glow your skin but better type of feel um, which is perfect because I am going on a little trip soon so this might be a winner for that. Let's see how it goes. As long as it does not make me oilier or look oilier, I I will be on board. So we'll see how it wears. Anyways. So yeah, as I mentioned, I slightly mentioned in there, I am going on a bit of a getaway soon. Uh, if you guys would like to see a vlog of my little getaway, let me know down below in the comments. And also, if you've used this foundation too and you're and you have oily skin, uh, let me know how you went in the comments. Um, yeah. And if not, <laughs> I'll let you know. If you follow me on like Instagram or Twitter, I'll like uh, do a follow up of how the foundation wore and how it lasted. So today's look, I'm like gonna, I'm going for like bronzy, glowing, like skin, like I'm glowing from within type of feel. But like, it's the fancy glow, so <laughs> that's that's the feel I'm going for. And yeah. Okay, <laughs> as you can see, this is very hydrating. Like I can, like I'm not matte or anything. I feel like I look a bit glowy, which is good. Summer's coming up. No one wants to look like a, like a you know, like a the Sahara Desert. You don't want to be looking like that. You want to be glowing. You want to be like shining from within with art, if that makes sense. Okay, I think I'm done. I'm just gonna go in with the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. I use the color 390 because I like a bright under eye. Um, just because I feel like, I don't know, it just makes me look better and like um, highlights obviously the higher points of my face really well. Yeah, I'm just gonna go there and I usually put it like underneath over here so guys if you guys are Fenty product lovers comment below and tell me which um, products you like using from Fenty and why you like using them and hey if I haven't tried them because you know I can't try them all because the coins you know I gotta be smart about it so I usually just get the staple products um, but yeah, let me know in the comments which one, which um, are some of your Fenty Beauty um, products that you love and swear by. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Pro Filter Setting Powder. I think that's what it's called. Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And I use the color Honey underneath my eyes because like I said, I like a bright under eye and that is what we're going for. Now, I have the mini version over here because my lovely boyfriend um, has <laughs> my actual um, setting powder in Honey, the bigger version, at his house and forgot to bring it, which is okay. <laughs> um, it's okay, now I have two, one for his place and one for mine, so it's fine. So I'm just gonna set, set that concealer because I don't want it to crease. One thing I will say about this concealer is that, I mean, concealer will crease, it's inevitable, especially if you have like a lot of lines underneath, it's inevitable. It's going to crease, people. 
Yeah, one thing I will say, this concealer is, I mean, not the concealer, the foundation, because it is so hydrating and because I am on the oilier side of life, you need to set it. Like, you cannot not set this foundation. But I feel like the dry, my dry sisters, you are, you are going to love this because it feels so nice on the skin. Like, I don't feel like I'm cakey. I don't feel like I have, and I put two layers on. I don't feel like I have tons of makeup on, so. Plus, I am just gonna do some finishing touches and then come back with y'all. I think those are all the fancy products I'm gonna use. But yeah, they base makeup, as you can see, it's just like, it'll make you look flawless. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I'm just gonna highlight with just a little bit of a trophy wife, just on my cheekbones over here, just a little bit, just to add like a nice, you know, nice, nice glow. Not too much, because if you've used um, Trophy Wife before, you know you will, you know uh, a little goes a long way. I'm done. I'm done. Um, Okay, this is the look. Uh, I'm done. I feel like I look glowy, but not oily. And I feel like the 430 is a perfect match for me. I think it looks pretty good. Um, also, it's so hard finding the perfect match because my face is like three different tones on its own. Like it's dark here, light here, and then a little bit like a different dark, sh darker shade up here. So I think 430 is a good match for me. That concealer, yes. Powder, yes. Eyebrow product, it's a yes from me. Definitely is for me. Like, I feel like it's very natural. Like, if you like natural brows, feathered brows, this would be the perfect brow product for you. But I will let you know how it wears, and I'll let you know how the foundation wears as well. Uh, follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you want to get um, the update on that. I'll probably post it on that uh, tomorrow and let you know how I wore out. So I'm going I'm going out with my boyfriend tonight um, to his gig. So there will be there'll be a lot of movement. So I can I will be able to tell how it lasts and how it wears. Uh, but yeah, this is my glowy Fenty face. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video, my Vogue inspired video of course. And uh, till next time. Bye.